Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 27th. We are very much still in the full moon energy, so we're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you, and the timing is fluid. So, um, yeah, let's just see what comes up. Somebody asked me what that was, this right here. That's sage. That is loose sage. So what do we have for a message today? Ooh. Okay. Well, the lovers is an unexpected choice in love. First card out, very prominent. So we have a choice here. Somebody is making a very... Uh, prominent choice at this time about a partnership okay this is kindred spirits it's a perfect union this is a major choice there is some sort of connection here a deep connection a very deep connection that arrow if you can see the arrow that is Cupid's arrow. That is uh, Cupid bringing two people together. It looks as though these two people, or they've brought in two people together. These two people have shared values. They have a lot in common. This is a perfect match. This is a face-to-face. -face. I think there's going to be a face-to-face. -face. Mm -mm. Wow. So the chariot is movement. It is opposites as well. It's opposites attract. There's some sort of opposition, but somebody is getting in the driver's seat. They're taking charge. They're taking the lead. This is moving fast, fast forward. Okay. Moving in a new direction. Very, very fast. Uh, taking charge. This, this is somebody that is ready, that is determined, very determined, taking, taking the reins, uh, being the boss. And taking charge so somebody is about to take charge and and go somewhere because this is movement this is traveling it could be actually moving as well there is some sort of opposition but there's this is somebody that is steering through the opposition they're facing their fears and they are making a move somebody is definitely making a move Nine of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles is somebody that is very self-sufficient, stable, solid, secure, hardworking, capable, um, enjoying life, very, very abundant, independent, independently owned and operated. So we have somebody here that is very uh, successful, that is enjoying their life, that is focusing on their abundance, just doing their own thing, that has a deep connection here. This person may not see it coming because it feels like this person over here, this, this person that is very, very uh, successful, this, is a, this could be an entrepreneur or a business owner or just somebody that is very devoted to their success, uh, very abundant. This abundant person has an arrival this is an arrival to partner up this is a partnership we have an independently or an independent person that is very capable of success that is very abundant that has things this is movement now this could be being at the right place at the right time. Somebody may be at the right place at the right time and there could there could be some sort of I don't know, instant attraction. This is somebody that is getting in the driver's seat, they're going someplace. 
They're, they're headed out. They're headed somewhere. They're, they're taking a journey. They're traveling somewhere. And wherever they're traveling to, it does have to lead to a partnership. It leads to something. This is a union. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, by the way. Knight of Pentacles. Now, this is a solid, stable, secure offer. This is somebody that has planned something or they are very responsible, loyal, hardworking, that is coming in with a big, huge offer. That is huge. This is huge. It is. It's, it's, it is. Somebody's hard work is of manifesting is also paying off. This is manifestation. This is hard work. Somebody has put in a lot of hard work. Now they are about to receive something very solid and stable. Now, if you add this one to the nine, it makes the ten, which is the ten of pentacles, which is a happy home. It is comfort. It is abundance. Somebody could be, there could be a change in the living situation. I think it's a very positive change. This is if you the, the Ten of Pentacles is financial success. It's flourishing. It's long term. It is um, a legacy, perhaps starting a business or this could be even a business partnership. Anyhow, we have a partnership that is coming together. I feel like somebody's about to receive an offer that is real. Okay, this is a real solid opportunity. Um, and they're giving it to an individual that is very abundant already. This person, the Nine of Pentacles, to me, is the Empress in the Minor Arcana. So uh, this Empress, or whatever you want to call her, this person is, and it could be a male or a female in this case, but this person is knows their value, knows their worth, and is waiting, is waiting for somebody of value. And I'm telling you what, there is somebody of value that is coming in. This person is hardworking. This is a planner. This is somebody that is methodical, that takes their time. They don't hurry into things. But this is typically pretty fast. Um, making a move. Somebody is about to make a move. This is a real, a real thing. It is very real. It is solid. It is, it is something that you can hold on to. Mm. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Cancer. Could be anybody else. Uh, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. So we could be we could be dealing with somebody that is make obviously making a very big decision. Big, 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 big. Okay, this is a big decision. This is probably a tough decision. It looks like it's a tough decision. This person is it, it doesn't look like it's a very easy decision. This guy looks a little discontent because, you know, he's going to have to speak up. He's going to have to speak his mind, and he's been thinking about it. This is a planner. I think we have somebody here that has been thinking about making a move, you know, and it may have to do with moving, like literally moving home. Um, anyhow, there is some sort of traveling in a new direction. Somebody has thought about it. This is a very tough decision. This is somebody that is accepting challenge even though it's hard. They're willing to put in effort. This is a hard worker that is wanting abundance. And it feels like this person has their eye on somebody that is abundant, that is valuable. Anyhow, um, the King of Swords is making a decision. There is a decision that is being made. It is a tough decision. It is, this person is wanting to be practical, they're wanting to be just, they're wanting to do the right thing, and that's why there's probably been some sort of delay or there's been some sort of slow movement, but I think speed, things are going to start to speed up. 
An offer is coming. This is something real. It is something solid. This is Cupid bringing two people together that are meant to be together. They are meant to work together. They are meant to build either a business or a home together. Could be both. This is a huge opportunity for success. This is success, and I have to tell you, not very often do my, all my cards that I have laid on the table come out in the upright position. And I have never rearranged my decks, these decks that I use all the time. Uh-uh, nope, I don't. You see me flipping constantly. No, mm-mm. I do on these, these, these uh, extra decks, you know, these ones are all upright because this is a oracle. It's not an oracle, but I'm using it with that in my monthlies. But anyhow, this, these ones I turned, but not these, not these. This one's reversed. So this is opening up. This is opening up. It's letting go. It's time to relax. Somebody has been very stubborn. They've been holding on to something for money, for financial reasons. They're letting it go. They're, they're ready to open up. Somebody's about to open up. They're about to open up communication. Some sort of communication is coming from a lover. Okay, this is a partner. This is a potential partner that, you know, uh, is really, really... Uh, this person knows what they want. They do know what they want. It feels like they're ready. They're ready. It feels like they're ready to settle down and because of that ten that I feel like we have the ten of pentacles here. I do. Um, put in effort. Somebody's gonna be putting in effort. They're gonna be making an offer to a person that is uh, knows their value, knows their worth, that is independently successful. This this independent person um, is looking at, well, this independent person is going to have to make a decision as well. Yep. Do you want this offer or not? There's about to be, th things are about to speed up. We have somebody that is coming in. They are coming in. And I feel like, uh, There's going to be a need to uh, replace your fear with faith. This is a real solid offer that is coming. It could lead to financial success and abundance. So yeah, I mean, what more can I say? There's going to be a conversation. There is going to be a conversation with an individual that... Um, is very factual. This person is is very discerning. Okay, they're discerning. They've been thinking. They've been uh, basically judging a situation, and now their decision is is being made. I think it's a yeah. So there is some sort of decision that is being made in regards to a partnership, and there is an opportunity for long term success. Absolutely, hundred percent. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. I, that's what I just heard. Just do it. You got somebody here that I got to do it. I got to do this. I know it's going to be hard. It's going to be work, but I got to do this. That's what I just heard. Just do it. Ah! Oh my goodness gracious. Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is a new start in love. It is a flood of emotion. It is a new beginning in love. There is a new beginning in love here. There's no doubt about it. Absolutely positive. Okay, this could be a new love. It could be a new partner. Whatever it is, this is showing affection, expressing feelings, uh, things getting better. This is emotional honesty right here. Emotional honesty. These two cards. So somebody's about to express their feelings. This is it's hard. I do believe it's hard. I think that this person, whoever this person is that is going to, following their heart towards a soulmate, um, 
Yeah. So anyhow, I do believe there's going to be a difficult or challenging in conversation that comes out that is probably going to bring up some emotions. Okay, this is going to be emotional. Okay, it is absolutely going to be emotional. There's definitely a need to have faith and not let go and not let fear get in the way because a chariot is mastering emotions and not letting fear hold you back it's time to go it is time to go and get you know it's time to go yeah there's the opposition there is opposition there could be some challenges along the way but i don't see many of them at this moment i feel like this is a um, somebody is receiving an opportunity to partner up with an individual that is has been brought to them uh by well, that's Cupid's arrow, okay, you know, um, and if it's not Cupid, it, it's higher, a higher power, okay, I do believe that we have two people that have the same values, these two people are kindred spirits, they see eye to eye, they have a lot in common, and they are, and they are about to, uh, I don't know, move forward together, and I think this is an emotional new beginning. This is beautiful. It's real. It's solid. It's stable. And it's probably going to be a tough decision because it may affect somebody's independence. Okay? There, now, let me just change this up for a minute. We could have somebody that is in a partnership that is becoming independent because that partnership, here's the partnership, and here we have independence. So it could go that way as well. I mean, there's thousands of people that watch this. Whatever is happening, we have a new start in love here. And it is emotional. It is definitely emotional. Somebody has uh, had a hard time following their heart. Maybe they were protecting themselves. They were cold and withdrawn. Now they're opening their heart. They want this opportunity. They want it. It's a big, huge opportunity. They want it, and they're going for it. So, good luck.